Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Maria Beanie, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is an easy to work, beautifully textured crochet beanie. I have listed it as an intermediate level, skill level crochet pattern, simply because of these puff shell cluster stitches here that you find in the body of the hat. Uh, once you get the hang of those though, the pattern is st pretty straightforward. The size we're going to be working today is for an adult head and uh, it's approximately 9, point, uh, 9 by 9 inches laid flat with a 20 to 22 inch circumference of a brim. You're going to need about 250 yards of a worsted weight yarn. I'm working with the Two of Wands Color Theory with Lion Brand Yarn and uh, it's a little bit on the lighter side if you're looking for something to substitute it with. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and direct links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. This channel has many crochet beanie patterns and other designs and crochet stitch tutorials as well. Today for the Maria Beanie we are working from the brim up and the hat is worked in rounds. We're going to start by working a foundation chain and our foundation chain is going to be 70 chains. If you are going to change the size of your beanie, as mentioned this is for an adult size, if you'd like to change the size you're going to need a foundation chain with a multiple of five stitches for this pattern. For the adult, go ahead and chain 70. There's 30. Fifty, and seventy. Once you've chained seventy, being careful not to twist your chain. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the front, into the first stitch. You are then ready to begin round one of your beanie's brim. For round one, we're going to chain one, work a half double crochet into the same chain as joining and then into each chain all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. So half double crochet in each chain all the way around. I like to work in the back bumps of my foundation chain, but it's really just a personal preference. You don't have to if you find one of the other loops a little easier to work in. So half double crochet in each chain all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 70 stitches. Once you've come all the way around at the end of round one you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for the next three rounds, so rounds two, three, and four, you're going to chain one and working in the third loop half double crochet in each stitch around. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you have a front loop and you have a back loop. When you turn it to look at the back of your stitch, you have a loop that's running along under that back loop. That, I'll move my yarn there, that is your third loop. So it's the one that runs along under 
the back loop, we're going to be working into this third loop only, and it's going to push the top of your stitches forward. So chain one, half double crochet into the third loop only of each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch just in the top of the first stitch uh, as you did before, then chain one, and again working in the third loop of each stitch all the way around half double crochet. And you can see here on mine, it just pushes it forward the top of the stitch and gives you this nice ridge of texture. So go ahead, work rounds two, three, and four, three rounds of half double crochet stitches in that third loop, and then meet me back here at the end of round four. When you come all the way around at the end of round four, this is what your work is going to look like. From the beginning, you have your three rounds of half double crochet in the third loop. You're then ready to begin your hat body. So for round one of your hat body, we're going to start by chaining one. Into the same stitches joining, you're going to work four double crochet stitches. Followed by a puff stitch. To work your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that four times. So that was once, twice, three times, and four times. Then yarn over and draw through all the loops on your hook. You're then going to skip the next four stitches and into the next stitch, once again, work four double crochets. Followed by one puff stitch into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Skip the next four stitches into your next stitch, work four double crochets and one puff stitch all the way around until you have four stitches remaining, then skip your last four stitches and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. As you come all the way around at the end of round one of your hat body, you have these remaining four stitches. Skip those four stitches and join into the first double crochet stitch. Remember, your chain one does not count as a stitch. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for rounds 10, or two through to 10, you're going to repeat this round into your same stitches joining, which was the double crochet stitch, so not the puff stitch, but the double crochet, you're going to work your four double crochet stitches followed by a puff stitch. And then one puff. You're then going to skip the next four stitches, which is your puff stitch and the first and the next three double crochet, and you're then going to double crochet into your next stitch. So one, two, three, four, work four double crochets into the next stitch, which is the top of the double crochet. followed by one puff stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next four stitches into your next stitch. Work four double crochet stitches followed by one puff stitch. Repeat that all the way around. Join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. Chain one, turn your work, and then 
repeat. You're going to repeat that for rounds 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then you're going to meet me back here at the end of round 10. At the end of round 10, this is what your work from the beginning looks like. You have your brim and then into your hat. You're then going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. You want to make sure that you have, for these next rounds, as we close the top of our hat, you want to make sure that the right side, so this side with the texture from your third loop stitches, is facing you. You want your right side on the right side out. You're then going to uh, chain one, and we're going to work a half double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So in the top of your puff stitch, half double crochet, and then into each of the next four double crochet stitches. And then half double crochet into your puff stitch and each of the next four stitches. You're going to continue this all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round you will chain one but do not turn your work. At the end of round 11 you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, do not turn your work and chain one. You're then going to, for round 12, work one half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. Now as we're working the top of our hat, we're just working in our top two loops. We're not working in the third loop or anything. So one half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. And I should have mentioned at the end of round 11, you would have 70 half double crochet stitches once again. So for round 12, half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches, then work a half double crochet two together. To work your half double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four. That's your half double crochet two stitches together. You're then going to repeat that all the way around half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. Followed by a half double crochet two stitches together over the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 12, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one, do not turn your work. You will have a total of 63 stitches. For round 13, you're going to half double crochet into the same stitch as joining and into each of the next six stitches. So for a total of seven. And then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. When you come all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. 
at the end of round 13, you'll have a total of 56 stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 14, chain one, half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. And then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 14, you will have a total of 49 stitches. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round 15, we're going to half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 15, you'll have a total of 42 stitches. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round 16, you're going to half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. And then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round 16, you'll have a total of 35 stitches. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. For round 17, half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Chain one, do not turn your work. At the end of round 17, you'll have a total of 28 stitches, chain one. For round 18, we're going to half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that, half double crochet in each of the next two stitches and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 21 stitches. For round 19, you're going to chain one 
half double crochet into the next stitch and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at the end of this round you're going to have a total of 14 stitches. For round 20 we're going to chain one and we're simply going to work a half double crochet two stitches uh, yeah sorry half double crochet two stitches together uh, in each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of seven stitches and you'll join with a slip stitch into your, the top of your first stitch. I'm just going to continue working and then we'll work the next steps together. So all the way around half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to that first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch and then fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail. You're then going to turn your beanie so that it's inside out. You'll have a small opening here up at the top. Turn it so that it's inside out. Grab a yarn needle and using the long tail you're going to thread it onto your yarn needle and we're going to weave our yarn in and out through each of the tops of the final rounds round of stitches. So I'm just weaving my yarn in and out through this final top round. I'm doing this on the inside of my beanie. And you're then going to just simply pull it closed. At this time you can fasten off. I like to secure it with a little bit of a knot and then tuck in your ends. You can also go ahead and weave in any ends or trim them off uh, that you might have elsewhere in your hat. You can then turn your hat right side out and that is how you work the Maria beanie. If you'd like, you can add a pom-pom to the top. It also looks wonderful without. So thank you so much for joining me. That's it for the Maria beanie. Don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. If you happen to complete the hat, be sure to share it with me on social media by tagging Rich Textures Crochet. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.